We learn that mirrors are smooth and shiny. Let's explore some of the objects around us and see if smooth and shiny are the important criteria for a surface to behave as a mirror. So when we keep an object in front of the plane mirror, what happens? We see an image is formed. Now as we keep moving the object in front of the mirror, the image also keeps moving accordingly. So why do, does this image formation happen in plane mirror? That's because the surface of the mirror is very smooth and shiny and therefore allows reflection to take place. As we have heard about all mirrors that they are silvered on one side. Why are they always silvered and why are they not painted black on one side? That's because again the silver color they tend to reflect most of the colors so that we are able to see all the colors in an object. So we see the image as it is like the object. What do you think would happen if we reverse the mirror? So when you look at the back side of the mirror, did you notice something? That this time the image is hazier than the previous case. That's because when you look at this surface, that is the back surface, which, is, which in this case is made up of plastic, it appears to be smooth but at the microscopic level it is not that smooth so when you look at this back surface it is black in color so black tend to absorb all colors except black so black gets reflected and that is why we see the images blackish so when you take some water in a bucket and you try to peep into the water what do you see you can see your image now why image formation takes place here because the surface of water again is a smooth surface and it is smooth enough for reflection to take place now let's do something so when we tap the container with water what happens do you see your image anymore you don't why don't you see the image that's because now the surface is no more smooth so the surface is you know continuously due to the formation of waves and ripples it is moving because of which you are not able to see the image so this proves these experiments prove that only smooth shiny surfaces and when we say smooth it has to be smooth microscopically so those surfaces will let reflection happen let us now take aluminium foils now when you take these aluminium pieces of aluminium foils and you keep an object in front of them can you see an image yes you can you can see the image of this blue pen what about the second aluminium foil so here also you keep the object near the foil and you can see its image now here again when you are able to see the image that means the surface is smooth enough so now what we do is let us crush one of these aluminium foils so once you crush it and then you straighten it again but now it is no more smooth like how it was before so you can look at the difference between the two right so now we will repeat the same experiment so now you keep the pen in front of this do you see the image you can just see a hazy blue but you cannot see the exact shape and the exact appearance of the pen but here in this case you can very distinctly see the pen so this shows that as the surface becomes smoother the reflection happens better and therefore you see a clearer image we take two stainless steel spoons one new and the other one old now what we do is we place an object in front of the new spoon so when you place an object in front of the spoon what do we see we can see its image on the spoon which proves that the surface of the spoon is smooth and shiny enough for reflection now let's do the same thing for the old spoon now when we keep, keep the same object in front of the old spoon do we see an image we hardly see anything why is this difference both of them are made up of stainless steel the difference is that when you look at this new spoon it is completely new so the surface is smooth and shiny but when you look at the old spoon it has been washed many number of times and due to repeated washing the surface has turned rough now since the surface is rough therefore reflection doesn't take place and we do not see an image
Based on the experiment which we have performed just now, we can categorize all these objects into three different classes that is good mirror, average mirror and poor mirror. So let's first talk about good mirror. So we see that this mirror that is the mirror which we normally use in our as our dressing mirror behaves like a good mirror why because it has a perfectly smooth surface as well as shiny surface so it is a good mirror now let's talk about average mirror so we saw the aluminium foil the plain one which had an averagely smooth surface and an average shiny surface and therefore it acted as an average mirror so even though the image was not very clear but still we could see an image of the object again if we talk about the still water so there also we could see some image of the object because the surface of the water is smooth enough however it is not that shiny so therefore overall it behaves like an average mirror again if we talk about the new spoon so now the spoon being new it has some shine so it's like average shiny and it also has an average smooth surface and therefore it behaves like an average mirror so because if you can very distinctly see that the mirror that is formed on the new spoon is not as clear as a, a mirror uh, as an image which is formed on a dressing mirror again the last object that would fall under the category of average mirror is the plain black surface which we considered. So here the surface is smooth enough but it's not shiny. So as a result it behaves like an average mirror. Now let's move on to the third category which is poor mirror. So here if we can consider the example of crushed aluminium foil. So now we crushed the aluminium foil so much that the surface now is completely rough. So there is no smooth surface therefore it behaves like a poor mirror. Again if you consider the surface of water with ripples. So you see due to the formation of ripples the surface again is no more smooth and as a result it's a poor mirror. Finally, if you take the example of the old spoon, now because of repeated usage, the surface is neither smooth nor, and it has also lost its shine. So as a result, this also behaves like a poor mirror. I hope you found the video interesting. Like and share the video. Subscribe to our channel to get daily updates. Thank you.